Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015 with the Rude Man, and we are back in Thornton, my quiet little village, and we're going to do some farming. Now, I did, when we finished the last episode, it was nighttime, it was so dark hundred. It is about almost six o'clock in the morning. We're going to get a fresh start on the farm. And <clears throat> there goes one of my trains. Oh, I love those things. Cool. That's the old one. Okay, so anyway, uh, I had three pieces of equipment that I had rented. So I need to get those back to finish what I was doing. So let's do that first. And let's see, let's go to mods. We had this Peterbilt rented. And then we'll try to sell some products, see if we can get some money. And we also had um, one of these rented, probably this little one. Probably had that little one rented. Let's get it. And then let's see. What else do we have? Oh, right, right, right. We had the um, wind drawer. That one rented. All right. Let's get those back on the farm. It's going to be a sunny day today. A little bit cloudy tomorrow. Partly cloudy on Friday. Sunny, but still no rain till next week. All right, so let's get this guy reset. And we need to get that one reset. And that one reset. All right, now let's go find these things. Get him started. And let's see, this one was hauling... What was he hauling? He was hauling the wind drawer. So now let's get him back to the farm. What field were we in? Oh, geez, I think we were almost done. I think I got stuck on a telephone pole or something there. Hey, hot air balloon. <clears throat> I can't recall if I've seen one of those in this game yet. Too busy farming. Whoa! I was playing the Sandy Bay redo privately yesterday for quite a few hours. It's similar to this uh, map right here, very similar. Matter of fact, when I got up this morning and I knew I had to do a Thornton, I thought, what the hell was I doing yesterday playing Thornton when I have to record it? Now I'm not going to be where I left off. And then I remembered, oh, wait, wait, wait. I was playing Sandy Bay, not Thornton. They're very similar. So let's see, where does my equipment go in that field, I believe? Yeah, there it is. All right, so we got this guy. Let's get that truck over there. We'll get him back to the combine so we can get that guy to work. Oh, 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 big drop there, big drop. Okay, now which field was the combine in? I don't recall. Uh, in field 13, okay. Field 13, which is to the left. Left, 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 right, left. So I think I could have got out right at the farm, couldn't I? into that field. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Get a little scenic tour here.
Okay, so let's just see here if we had... Did I have a course set up for Combine? Uh, grain to Blue Sphere. What? I already sold some grain and I don't have any money? Huh, interesting. Alright, let's get this guy moving here. must have left off right here where this little jag is. I don't know. I am not sure. Okay, so I'm going to lower this and start it up and fix this little jog here. And then, I'll start auto wash. All right, let him go to work. And let's go get our other rig here. What else did we have out here? Oh, that guy. Oh, 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 where's our other tractor then? Right here. Let's get him started. Oh, my head's gone. No, I'm headless. Okay, let's see. Um, I don't know what to do with this guy yet, so let me get the other rig. And we'll go back out into that field and finish that. Oh, shoot, I forget. This thing here, this thing, is such a pain. It sticks out so far beyond the wheels that it just catches on everything when you turn. You can't be close to anything because the rear end, see, see? The rear end, the rear end swings around and just catches on everything. I like that wind drawer, but I hate that about it. Yeah, I'm looking for a cultivator, a different cultivator that's about at least 27 meters, 25 meters, that folds up real narrow because some of these farms like this one, I can't get large equipment in it because the cultivator I have is like 20 feet wide, even when it's folded up. it's. I'm, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but <clears throat> even so, it can't get through the gates, it can't get down the road. And so I got to use this little bitty equipment it takes all day. But then again, I have to remember, this is my relaxing map that I just take my time on. I've been having a lot of fun. There's a, um, everybody's doing it. So it's not just me. I've been having a lot of fun with the helicopter mod. Uh, I've had it for, oh gosh, quite a while since it first came out. And you know what? I might just leave it the way it is here. I might just leave this. Well, that's not good right there. But yeah, I'm not gonna get all the straw, the, uh, straw in this anyway, so. Yep, yep, yep. Let's, let me just leave this for now. Anyway, I've been playing with the helicopter mod. The one I have has uh, two, two helicopters. One is a big cargo helicopter that uh, you can actually transport stuff with, I, I believe. I haven't tried that yet. I've just been having too much fun flying around. 
The other one is a crop duster, a little crop duster, and you can actually fill it with with uh, with uh, fertilizer and stuff. So that's kind of cool. And I haven't done that yet either. I've just been, like I said, I've just been having too much fun flying around. I haven't found a practical use for it yet. So not yet, because I haven't tried. And that's why I haven't been playing it on one of the maps that I record. Is that that jet? Where is it? I hear it. I don't see it. So I got to get this field prepared. So that means getting all the straw off. And let's see what I can do. Um, did I have a course made? Straw field 11. Is this field 11? Yes, it is. Why do I have two? I don't know. Let's see what this one is. And where does it start? Oh, first of all, let me check. Okay, yes, I do have the uh, the new version of... The new developer's version of course play. Alright, where does it start? Interesting. Where does it start? Maybe that's why I have two. <laughs> what? There it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, so it starts here. No, it stops here. What? Okay, this is crazy. Uh, let me get rid of this one for a second. And let's grab... Which one did I grab? I think I grabbed the second one. No. Yes. Ah, there we go. Okay. Can't remember why there's two. I don't remember. Don't recall. Let's just start this one. Here. Um, where are you going? Well, we'll get the uh, we'll get as much as we can. I don't know what's going on here, but I think I had I think I had one that had uh, headlands, and maybe one that didn't have headlands, and so I just don't recall what I did. Let's go check on our combine, though. Let's see, he's 100% full. This map is so small, I think I mentioned before that when I used to work in the wheat, this is what we used to haul the wheat out of the fields was these, uh, these dump trucks like this. And it's got kind of a small footprint, so it works well on these old farms like this that have real narrow roads. You don't have to worry about a trailer following you, tracking properly around corners and such. It doesn't hold very much, but hey, it's a small small farm
All right. Now, if I I don't recall, I had a problem on the Sandy Bay farm in that I couldn't find a place to put the straw. Now, we came in this way, didn't we? Is there another way off this field? I found a place on the Sandy Bay one where I could sell the straw. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a spot right here. Right on the farm. Okay, well, I anyway, I found a place where I could sell the straw, but I couldn't find a place on Sandy Bay to store the straw. So I came up with my own solution. Now, I think, see, I think I can sell it here, but I don't think I can store it here. Let me see. Or is this for hay? This might be for hay, selling hay and not straw. Oh, this is wheat. What the hell's wrong with me? God, I was thinking about that windrow is what I was doing. Silly me. So I was ready to have a problem before it even happened. And I forget on this one that I have to back in, so. But I don't actually have to. Oh, shoot. Missed my turn. I don't actually have to. And I'll let you know about that in a second here. Let me get back on the field. All right. You sit right there for a minute. See what this guy's doing. He's a fool. He's fool up. See, I was doing this, and that was what was on my mind <laughs> when I, when I uh, was thinking about where to put the straw. Is that any excuse? Well, I don't know. Good enough for me. Good enough excuse for me. So. Now I'm back where I was about five minutes ago, wondering where to put the straw. But I have a solution that I did in Sandy Bay. And it might work here too for more than one thing. I just need to find a spot to do it. My old trusty John Deere, clickety-clack, clickety-clack. The only problem is, is this one I don't have a head on? I'm headless. I think it is. I think, I think, I think. Oh, what did I hit? Did I hit the side of the road? Shoot. This window's so dirty, I can't see out of it. All right, now let's see. Where does the straw go? Okay, so look, we've got a uh, product here, but I think this is where I had trouble trying to figure out where to put my straw, put my windrow. I know I can put it where the animals go and the, for their use, but where do I store it? So, that being said, Here's my solution. Here's my solution. I just need to figure out where to put it. What is that? Wood chips or beets or what? What is that? That's sugar beets. Okay. All right. I, I have a solution. Uh, let me let me see here.
No, what's that? What is that? Is that part of my farm? Okay, I need to put... I, do, I just noticed that I don't have the drive control mod on this map. I may have to put it in there because I forgot I have mud. I don't want to get stuck. Alright, let me go up and see what that is while I'm just kind of dinking around. You know, I'm not sure if I've actually been out this way. There's a lot of this farm I haven't been on. See what I mean? Even this very small rig, I just hit the corner trying to turn. These roads are so narrow. Alright, let me... Let me open up these gates. Oh, this is a pig shed. And again, I, I don't recall whether I've been here or not. Let's look around. Yeah, let's see here. Okay, this is just storage, feed. Everything's got straw on it, you know, everything does. So you just kind of sprinkle straw around. Okay, just a big shed. Um, wood chips, yeah, that's what I need, wood chips. What's in this barn? Okay, this is your tatoes. All right. See, this shed right here is almost identical to the one in Sandy Bay. So there's so many similarities in this map and Sandy Bay. And then there's another one. This is Thornton. There's another one, and I can't recall the name of it, that's, again, real similar to the Sandy Bay and this one. I just can't remember what the name of it was. So it's almost like they took that those those maps and just kind of changed them a little bit. All right, so obviously that's cattle, cattle shed, pig shed. I'm not going to do animals for quite some time because I've just got too much work to do. So okay, so here we go. Let's get out of here. So now I know where the animals are, though. I <laughs> just honk my horn. And, you know, that's kind of appropriate that they put the, uh, the potato thing where the animals are because they eat potatoes. I don't know what the hell to do with sugar beets. Somebody needs to find a better use for sugar beets so there's a reason to grow them. I mean, you know, I know there's a reason to grow them. See what I mean? Even this little bitty. Oh, it's my weight. Maybe I need to find a smaller weight. Roads are so narrow. Really intruding. Okay, so here's going to be my solution to some of this. I'm going to do, let's see, all right, I can get, I can get my stuff there. <clears throat> I just got to figure out a way to put it. I have that placeable uh, silo, the placeable silo. I just need to find a place to put it. Because with that, I can do straw, hay, everything. I can do everything with it. I just need to find a place to, to put it that makes some kind of sense and easy to get to. Now, I could put it in here. I could put it right there. I could, I could, I could. By that shop. Oh boy. 
I just gotta think this through. Yeah, let me go check on my rig here. Let's go get this. Weeha! <clears throat> It's just that this farm is so small. I think one of the problems too, if I remember right, is if I use that placeable. Now here's what I'm worried about right here. Um, placeables. Okay. It's not here. I need to put it in. I don't have it. I don't have it. Darn it. I'll have to put it in. Oh, by the way, somebody was mentioning to me that uh, that if I wasn't aware, they were watching my video and I rented a piece of equipment and my hour was almost up and they told me that I needed to be careful because after an hour, my rented equipment would go away. I don't have that mod. That's a mod uh, different than what I have. Um, the, the rental mod that they're talking about is one that you rent the item by the hour I don't have that one. I have a mod where you rent the hour, I mean, you rent the piece of equipment and you pay by the hour, but you don't lose it after the hour. If you, if I go beyond an hour, it just charges me for another hour. So I can rent the thing and keep it for a week if I want to, which would be a stupid thing to do because when I go to sleep at night and I race the time ahead, I'm paying for something I'm not using. It could be thousands of dollars. So I just have to be aware that if I have a piece of rented equipment and I plan on uh, at 10 o'clock quitting for the day, for the farm day, and I make it daytime, I'm gonna have about eight or nine hours of rental that to pay that I wasn't using the piece of equipment. He's not full, I don't know why I'm driving in here. Here's what I'm thinking, I'm thinking about putting Maybe right there. Hang on a sec. I'll be right back. Okay. About five minutes went by for me. About two seconds for you. So let me back this thing back into the field. Which is an all day job. Okay. Now I'm going to go to mods. And here's what I was wondering or thinking. It seems like this is my uh, farm bunker here in farm silo um you can place this anywhere you want you can dump almost anything into it and then you can take it back out with this so i can actually store straw and hay in this and take it out by using that now here's the thing if i remember right it says it's not returnable if you rent it not returnable not ret not rentable it's not rentable so I, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not 100% sure if I place this and I don't like where it's at, I'm worried that I can't sell it and get rid of it. I don't know. So I, that's why I'm trying to make sure I put it right in the right spot. So let's buy this. It doesn't cost anything. And now let's see. Let me Let me zoom in here. Let me zoom in, zoom in. Okay, now, this, the wide part is the part that it opens. So, I'm going to put it right here, I think. Okay. And then this thing, I don't know where to put. I don't know where to put. Let me, let me get out of this. And I'm not quite sure where to put this. But now I can just dump this stuff right here. And it goes into whatever um, storage unit I have. So now I can set up course play to jump over this and dump this stuff. So if we look at... Let's see here. Okay, we are doing wheat, are we? So we're 31409, right? All right, let's dump this.
Okay, so 37810. So it, it went in there, but it actually it actually goes to whatever storage unit you have, which is this one over here, which now means I don't have to back in there. I can just do a course play set and just drive over that thing, and I'll be hunky-dory, doodly-da. But the difference is I can also dump straw and hay in there or anything else I want to. Now I can still get it out here, but I won't be able to get the straw and hay out here because I don't think I can get straw and hay into this one. So that means I need to put one of them spouty things someplace else. And I have to figure out where that someplace else is gonna be. I could actually put it right where those tires are. That might not be too bad. But it does stick out quite a ways. Does it stick out farther than that one? I don't. I'm not sure. Let me see if that's where I want to put it. Let's just see. Oh, man. Where am I? I'm lost. Okay, over this way. Yeah, I was going to put it right here. How close can I get it to the building? That's my question. Can I get in there? Pretty dang close. I think so. I can't get it too close to the building because I need to be able to get the piece of equipment to the building. Alright, let's dump it there. I'm going to buy that. Okay, now I'll be able to either get all of my stuff out of this one or that one. I'll probably only use this one for, well, I don't know. I can use this one for my straw and my, and my uh, hay. So let's test this theory out and run this straw. But see, now I can do a course play run. Okay. Hey, hey, there goes my straw. And let's just see if we have straw in the farm silo. See, grass and hay, chaff, straw, straw, grass, hay, seeds. I can put seeds in that thing. Silage, total mixed rations can go in there. Wood chips, fertilizer, manure, slurry, sunflowers. See, I can put everything in that. And it isn't the fact that I can put everything in it. It's I can get everything out in a manner that I can use course play. So there you go. All right, so there we are. That's a solution. Now, oh, jeez. Now I can set a course play route up here. Let's see. Uh, let me get that. Let me get that thing off of there. And I don't know. I don't know how. I mean, I'm going to have to come through that field to do this, but. Yeah, it, it's going to have to do, going to have to do. Let's get this guy back on the job and ready for action. But we need to set up a course play route for this guy. Because it's going to take forever to do all this straw. And I need to get crop on that field because I'm broke. Yeah, I can't remember. Somebody asked me, you know, why I'd want to use that rental uh, mod the way I have instead of renting it just by the hour. Uh, because they said, well, what if you don't want to rent it for longer than an hour? Well, this mod, you, you don't pay for it. It's You pay for it by the hour. You can rent it for as long as you want. And if you don't want it anymore, you return it. But you only get charged by the hour. The other one, you can only rent it for an hour and then you have to re-rent it. That's a pain. That's a pain of doodle-doo. For me, it would be anyway. 
All right, so we're gonna do. Uh, was it the first one? Yeah. Let's try this. But what I want to do wasn't the first one. It wasn't the first one. The second one. Okay, so it starts here. All right, I need to set up one to take the straw back to the farm. So let's do it right here, right here. Okay, so we need one of these and drive the course. No, let's get rid of that. Okay, start the course recording. Now, the only problem with where I set up that silo in the bunker is I have to kind of drive into that other field to make a, a circuit. I'll have, to, I'll have to think about how to do that. Yeah, we're having a little bit of an issue on Oklahoma with that. I had a subscriber ask me if I was having trouble with a course play route for the straw. The thing is, you can you can bring your straw into the bunker and you can dump it manually without any trouble. If, if the trigger's there, it it finds a trigger, you manually dump it. If you set a course play route up, the course play route does not see the trigger so it doesn't stop and drop your straw. And they were asking me about that. I can't. I haven't had time to really check into it to see what the issue is specifically. It's probably a course plate issue, but the thing is though, yeah, see, here's where I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go into this field. I could go around, this is a long way around. Or I could flip a Yui and go back the other way. I should probably do that. This is silly. Going all the way down there. Alright. Hang on. I'm going to fix this. Let's just take it back to this point right here. That might not have been the best place to put that, but I, I didn't have a whole lot of room. I was just actually kind of looking for a straight, you know, a, a straight spot where I could drive over it. And it does do that. It's just turning around. I have to go into that field a little bit. Oh well, so be it. I don't have uh, wither wheels on here any longer. What I did for the wither wheels, the wither wheels on this map are included in the terrain, the uh, dirt terrain mod. And what I did was um, Stevie on Sherwood changed his map and one of the changes was 
he changed the mud terrain map to mud only and he took the uh, weather wheels out of it and a, and a couple other things so what I did was I just borrowed that mod and used it here instead of the regular uh, mud terrain mod okay let's stop this here well, well that looks convoluted doesn't it all right let's clear that we're gonna go with this one and come out go back in and choose oh I didn't save it oh, are you kidding me oh I didn't save it oh well heck with that I'll do it in a minute hang on let me just get this guy going again shoot oh I got to talking where are you going stop Stop, stop, where are you going? Get back out of here. Alright, I don't know what he's doing. Nope, I thought that was it. Nope, wasn't it. There he goes. Ah, damn it, I got to talking about that mod. And I didn't save that route after I did that. I'll do it later. It's no big deal. Let's see here, though. Did we do... Did I do a route for this guy? Not yet. I was working on it. Okay. Let's do that. Let's do... Let's do this. Alright. We're going to be doing a combo route. Or a combi route. For combo. It's not a combo. It's combine. Combi route. Oh, man, I had the biggest sneeze. <laughs> you probably tell the truck just went flying to the right there. All right, so I can, I think. No, I cannot. Blew that one, didn't I? How am I going to do this now? I got an idea. I got an idea. Let's stop this. Let's stop this. And uh, temporary course. Let's do that. Get rid of it. Stop it. I'm going to go. I'm going to do the big circle. I'll do the big circle. This field's almost done anyway. But let's do it from over here. Okay, we'll start it here. I remember how narrow these roads are. Might be a smoother drive if I stayed on the pavement, wouldn't it? Oh man, I had trouble yesterday. I was going to record yesterday. And I got up and I don't know what happened. But we had a power outage. I don't know why that would have affected anything, but it did. It seemed to. My wheel was completely effed up. 
usually when I start my computer, my wheel comes on and the steering wheel will run to the right and stop, come back to the center. Then it'll run to the left and come back and set to the center. It goes through some routine that it sets itself up every time I turn the computer on. Yesterday when I turned the computer on, very little happened. And it was later that I'm just st sitting in my room and all of a sudden the wheel started turning. But it didn't turn like it normally does, you know, to the right, to the center, to the left, to the center, and stop. Didn't do that. It went to the right and stopped. And about a half hour later, it came back on and went to the left and stopped. It was weird. It was all messed up. Well, I decided to try to record and I'm gonna save it this time. This is, which field is this? Oh man, what field is this? Uh, 13, okay. Okay, let's just do this. Field 13, save that. Turn the PDA off. Don't need it. And then let's uh, drive the course. See what he does. Anyway, make a long story long or longer. Uh, I went to play a farming game and none of my controls would work. And I went to the uh, the uh, configuration of of uh, Farming Simulator 2015. Everything was messed up. All my key bindings were messed up. I don't know what happened. It was it was a mess. I tried to do a game uh, uh, to restore my PC to a couple days ago, and I did. It didn't fix it. And so then, I decided to get drastic, and I deleted the game. I just I just went and deleted the game, the whole game. I deleted all the configs, everything. I, I just deleted everything and started with a fresh uh, start on Farming Simulator 2015. And that's easy for me to do because I have all my maps, all my save games, all my maps, all my course play routes, everything I have on a separate uh, hard drive. It, it has nothing to, it's not connected to the game in any way until I tell it to be. It's just how I have mine set up. So it wasn't a big issue. I, I easily got everything back. But uh, the only thing I had to end up doing after all of that was, where's he going? Well, he doesn't need to be unloaded. Where's he going? That's crazy. The only thing I had to do is I had to go back and, uh, and set up all my buttons again. But everything's working, so. All right, this guy. Wow, this guy's really messed up. <laughs> he really is. Uh, okay, let's stop the driver. I may have to do end up doing this manually after all. I'm not gonna go through uh, messing with a, another course right now. I'll, I'll do it after I finish recording. And this time I'll save it. So anyway, it took me half a day to get everything working again. And as it turns out, it's a little bit better because I had to reset all my buttons and I added a few. So now I've got an easier way to pull my maps up. Um, I key bound some different keys to that, buttons, different buttons. So all's good, works well. Now the test is going to be using the using the wheel for my American Truck Simulator and hoping that everything's still hunky with that. I got to move that trailer because it's kind of in the way, isn't it? Kind of, sort of. Sort of, kind of.
but I do have to set up a course for this because this is going to take forever to do if I don't. Uh-oh, I think my truck's going to be in the way. Why he stopped there, I do not know. Great demand at, uh, at beef for beef. At beef for beef. Okay. Great demand at beef for beef. All right, well, there you go. We can sell beef at beef. What do I have this set up as? Start at 50, drive at 90. Okay, I suppose that's okay. Now, supposedly, there is copy course, drive settings. I thought there was a... Well, you know what? I don't have um, the drive control on here, but I was told that Auto Combine has uh, a four-wheel drive thing you can click. Maybe it doesn't show up unless unless you've got that mod in there. Oh, I'll have to check that out. I will, I will, I will. All right, let's go on, onwards. Oh, he's ready. Back to the field. Yeah, I need to move that trailer. It's kind of in the way. Move, trailer. I think I might buy some cows. I'm not going to do any pigs and beef for a while because I, I need to do crops and make some money. But I might do cows. Cows don't take too awful much. Let's see. Uh, the cues. They do want mixed rations. You can do them without mixed rations. They're not going to starve to death if you give them silage and grass and not mixed rations. You're just not gonna get 100% and you're not gonna get as much um, milk. So, but I could at least work with them. I don't know what the heck to do with this guy. He was supposed to be over here. Working. He doesn't seem to want to, though. I don't know what he's doing. This is a mess. I just need to... I need to turn the... Uh, the things on. The triggers on having to go to the nearest one or something. It's on automatic now, is it? I can't remember. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Not that big a deal. How's Combine doing? 49%? But anyway, I think this is probably going to be a very good place to end the episode. And I hope you liked it. Give it a like if you did. Share it with a friend. If you haven't subscribed, that'd be a wonderful thing. And I will see you on the farm in the next episode. Happy farming.